Hi, I'm Stacy Cole, brand director for the family of Joe Mockins dealerships. We at Joe Mockins Toyota recognize that JobPoint continues to provide an incredible community service by helping people overcome obstacles, discover their talents, and then finding them employment right here in Mid-Missouri. Having and keeping a job is the number one necessary step to overcoming poverty in our community. For decades, individuals have achieved remarkable success through the efforts of this organization. The cumulative impact of their work is immeasurable. That's why all of us at Joe Watkins Toyota are honored to serve as this year's sponsor of the JobPoint Award of Excellence. We are certainly very proud of these recipients as we are the thousands of people that have been influenced by JobPoint over the years. We are grateful for your efforts and for the difference that you're making in our community. <laughs> At Boonville's Super 8, yeah. <laughs> you'll find James White on a All mission. Smooth. Clean the tubs and make the beds. He's the hotel's housekeeping hero that earned him this nickname. Superman kind of hit because he's always here every day. He's here when you need him and he's constantly on the go. And so what the cat was. <laughs> In true superhero fashion, White had to fight some battles to get this job. I was in desperate of a job at the point. He was on the hunt for a new adventure after moving to mid-Missouri from Arkansas, where he worked in a sheltered workshop for eight years. It helped me a lot to overcome my SID and stuff, which I battle with. That's when vocational rehab stepped in to help. He was excellent at reaching out to us. He definitely is connected to people. That is his main passion for wanting to work. The organization set White up with JobPoint. John helped me out with my resume and he called around. And his excitement, his energy level, his desire to work were really strong. JobPoint helped White apply to multiple positions and arrange chances for him to test out different jobs. It took us a couple months to find the right position for him. Kept showing up for his appointments, eager and ready. The majority of individuals are capable of working. It's just a matter of finding that right job fit. Super 8 turned out to be that perfect fit. It made me proud you No know, one got a job and don't have to worry and you know, I got a job to go to in the morning. He brings sunshine to everybody. He's always happy. <laughs> so it's got to the point where most of the time we don't check his rooms because we know he does such a wonderful job. Even on his first day of work, White showed his superhuman strength. The day before he started the job, his mom passed away. To his credit, he showed up the next day, which was his first day of work, um, because he really, really wants to work. The hotel gave him a couple weeks off, and then his family's car broke down, but White found a way. I were to look up in the dictionary and look up, you know, perseverance, I feel like James's picture would be right there. You know, jobs give you a chance to change your life. And then, so James is a really good example of why we do what we do. And for that, White is grateful. Thank you very much for the help. So if you ever make a trip to Boonville, it's not a bird or a plane. Don't give up. It's James White. Keep going. Mm, life is worth living. The Super 8 Superman. Ready to go. I don't know what we would do without our Superman. I really don't. <laughs>
He, he was always eager to try the new things. The class teaches students everything from how to operate trucks and cranes to working with asphalt and concrete. Justin tried to, you know, find something where we can actually visualize it and see what it actually was talking about in the book and just instead of just reading it. Then they put their work in the classroom to the test through an internship with the City of Columbia's Street Division. We do asphalt, we do asphalt repairs, we do concrete repairs. Four to five days a week, uh, we meet up here every, in, in the mornings and uh, we go out with Tim and we do everything that needs to be done. With this crew, Wings harnessed his skills and stood out at the same time. It's his work habits, his personality, his uh, He's a giving person too. Tim Sublett wasn't the only person to notice. So did Chester Bross Construction. His big plus was that he is dependable. He put in the work and the effort. Uh, he learned the skills and he set himself up for success. <laughs> in June 2017, Wings got a job as part of the company's milling crew. He's been on Highway 70, Highway 44. He's been all over the state three months after he left prison in his rear view mirror. I feel different because I got this job. I mean, it was a great feeling with my background. I mean, what I've been through, I've, that's the greatest thing that could ever happened to me. Wing says he's glad to be on a straighter path and thankful job point helped pave the way. Well, I always go by there, I tell them thank you. I mean, it's like when I stepped in there, my whole life changed. It makes it worthwhile to see, see the progress, to see someone take an opportunity like this and actually use it. You know, I, now in my life I feel like I'm a little part of something. I feel like I'm a part of the America, you know, so that's what it means to me. I am from Independence, Missouri, and I would like to open up a salon around that area. I've always liked to do hair. I always would do my sister's hair, nails, and makeup. There's a lot of stigmas on women in prison or people in prison, period, um, that we're never going to amount to anything, that it's going to be hard for us, that people don't want us to enter back into society. And Kellyanne and Jesse and the people that they've brought in to speak to us and um, be a, a part of the class have really shown that there are people that want us to succeed. So my name's Jessie Yankee. I'm the director of the Missouri Women's Business Center and we are a program of Central Missouri Community Action. We offer entrepreneurship training, business coaching, all of that fun stuff. And so when Kellyanne and Ken came up with the idea of offering entrepreneurship here in the prison, um, we were their first call. So we have programs in place currently within the Department of Corrections where we are training our men and women to learn viable skills, apprenticeships, job skills, things that are specific to certain types of jobs and industries, but there was really nothing based on entrepreneurship or being your own boss or starting your own job. Literally, we saw these women change before our eyes. They've given us a lot of knowledge and had people come in and speak to us about the things that we're gonna face, both good and bad, about starting your own business, that you will have obstacles and that it's okay and that you will have the support system you need if you have questions or, or if you stumble, that they will be there. It doesn't even feel like we're in prison sometimes. I mean, the way that they treat us, they look past the fact that we're offenders, um, they want to help us succeed, they want to be here for us, they are going to stay in contact with us even after we leave prison, which is like, it's huge. I really enjoy getting to know them. Like I said earlier, I'd never been in a prison, I'd never met anyone in prison, um, and they're, they're just normal. They're not only giving us an idea of what we can do, but they are giving us a whole network of people out there that's going to help us do what we can do. And kind of, it gives us somebody to come to when we have a problem. That way you don't slip into bad behaviors or anything. And it gives you a lot of hope for your future.